In today's video, we're diving into the world of Skyrim to uncover some hidden gem mods that you absolutely must have. Whether you're a seasoned Dragonborn or a newcomer to Tamriel, these mods will enhance your gameplay experience in ways you never imagined. So, grab your sword and let's get started. First, let's introduce some hidden gem mods related to gameplay. Starting with Soul Resurrection, Injury and Alternative Death System. This mod replaces the death system in Skyrim, eliminating the hassle of reloading the game and preventing save file corruption when the player dies. With this mod, players can continue their game shortly after dying, without seeing the death screen or losing progress. Additionally, each time the character dies, they suffer injuries that weaken them. These injuries gradually heal over time, but surviving becomes more challenging with each death. Moreover, if the player loses a battle against guards, they are imprisoned instead of dying. They must either escape from prison or serve their time as punishment. Guards may also steal gold from the player. All these features can be customized through the MCM, allowing players to enjoy uninterrupted adventures in Skyrim and making the game more exciting with new challenges. Next up is Edmund's Cinematic Dragon Soul Absorption Remastered. This mod adds a more dramatic effect when absorbing dragon souls in Skyrim. When a dragon soul is absorbed, music featuring either male or female vocals or instrumental performances plays. The player performs a powerful animation, followed by an explosive effect. Additionally, it can be easily installed on both new and existing save files. It is compatible with other animation replacement mods, and the music and animations can be customized to the user's preference. The default master level destruction spell animation plays when absorbing a dragon soul, and users can choose from various animation replacement options. Moreover, it is flagged as ESL, saving mod slots and enhancing Skyrim's immersion making the moment of absorbing a dragon soul even more impressive. Next up is Dragon's Fall Down, Immersive Airborne Death. This mod addresses the behavior of dragons. When you take down a dragon in the air, it usually continues to fly around energetically for a while, before deliberately falling towards the player and then dying. Have you ever thought, that wouldn't happen? This mod changes it so that when a dragon's HP reaches zero, it falls immediately. If you find the original animation unnecessary, why not give this mod a try? It will create a more natural depiction of a dragon's falling death. In this section, I will introduce some hidden gem mods related to magic, starting with the auto-bound weapon SKSE plugin. This mod conveniently summons a bound weapon simply by drawing your weapon while the spell is equipped. Previously, even with the bound weapon spell equipped, you had to cast the spell, making it cumbersome to use. As a result, I rarely used bound weapon spells. However, with this mod, I can summon weapons instantly and conveniently, making me use bound weapons more frequently. Additionally, this mod is purely an SKSE plugin without an ESP, which means it is less likely to conflict with other plugins. I believe this is a great hidden gem mod for you to try. Next up is Grimoire Weiss. This mod allows you to summon the Book of White from Near Replicant in Skyrim. Once installed, it adds a summoning spell called Book of White to your magic inventory. Using this spell, you can summon the Book of White to assist you. Created by a Korean creator, the original mod is in Korean, so you'll need to download and apply the English ESP separately. The Book of White follows you around in its folded form and unfolds during combat to provide various buffs and debuffs. For example, it can increase your attack power, decrease the enemy's defense, immobilize enemies, or inflict poison damage. Additionally, it has a chance to heal you when your health is low. When not in combat, it can also help you hide while sneaking. This mod is extremely helpful in battles and can serve as a valuable companion. 
The Book of White acts cleverly according to the situation and faithfully supports the player. In this section, I'll introduce some utility mods. First up is Resaver. Resaver is a tool used to clean and modify Skyrim save files. When you uninstall a mod during gameplay, remnants of that mod can remain in your save file. Resaver helps to clean these leftovers. Using Resaver is straightforward. First, register Resaver through Mod Organizer and launch it. Once the Resaver window is open, select the save file you want to clean. The script elements of the save file will be displayed in a tree structure. Next, go to the top menu, select Clean, and choose Remove Unattached Instances and Remove Undefined Elements to perform the cleaning process. This will remove unnecessary script elements from the save file, helping to improve the game's stability. Next up is the Save Checker. This mode addresses several issues that can occur when creating save files. When saving, a notification will display the result. Save valid if there are no issues, or save corrupted if the save fails, allowing you to immediately identify corrupted save files. Although this mode is a very simple SKSE plugin, it boasts some excellent features, making it a hidden gem that I'm excited to introduce to you. In this section, I will introduce a few hidden gem mods related to creatures. First up is Centaurs, Mihail Monsters and Animals. This mod adds the ancient and mystical centaurs to the game. Centaurs are a race that combines the features of humans and horses, and they are depicted as very powerful in combat. There are several types of centaurs, ranging from wild centaurs to those armored in imperial gear. You can occasionally encounter them in the wilderness or rich regions of Skyrim. I believe this mod will significantly diversify your Skyrim creature compendium, which is why I wanted to introduce it to you. Next up is the Beavers and Raccoons of Skyrim SE mod. This mod adds beavers and raccoons to the rivers, lakes, and streams of Skyrim, enriching the game's ecosystem with a total of 54 wild beavers and 36 wild raccoons. The mod has no dependencies other than the base game, and is provided in an ESL version, making it easy to install. By adding non-aggressive creatures, it further diversifies Skyrim's ecosystem. In this section, we will introduce the SKSE plugin mode. First up is the Screen Archer menu. This mod provides various useful features for taking screenshots, helping players capture better in-game images. By entering SM in the console, the Screen Archer menu will appear, allowing you to test and output different poses, set weather conditions, adjust character angles, and configure FOV values. It offers many useful features for players who want to take screenshots, and one of its advantages is that it doesn't require an ESP file. With this plugin, you can create your own unique images through various settings. Lastly, we have the Camera Noise Model. This SKSE plugin for Skyrim Special Edition adds a natural noise effect to the camera, similar to the one used in God of War. You can open the ENB settings menu to adjust the noise levels, and it allows for separate configurations for both first-person and third-person modes, providing a more immersive gameplay experience. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Skyrim's hidden gems. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more epic content. Let us know in the comments which mods are your favorites, or if there are any hidden gems we missed. Until next time, happy adventuring.